privilege to have with me Ivy Day, Head of Global Market Sales APSA. Ivy, you are welcome. Thank you, Sika. Thank it, you very much. It's been a long time. You've been quite busy. Yes, 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 yes. You know, my work is in the heart of the economy. Yeah. So with all that's going on. You, you, you were traveling. I know you traveled. You went to Nigeria. Was it Nigeria? Zambia. Zambia yeah. I was in Zambia. My first time, but um, beautiful country. Oh, really? Yes, I was in Livingston. Beautiful. Oh, I wow. mean, you see wildlife like they, they, are, they are your pets. It's interesting. <laughs> you know, we, we tend to travel more outside Africa yes. than within Africa. Yes. I think yes. we should be doing more. Yes, there. yes, yes. Anyway, I agree. Hmm. You know, over, over the 30 years that I've worked with people, I have come to realize that, I, have come, I, I think I've come to realize that the, the experiences you have at times impact on your ability to connect or not connect with people. Mm. What is your take on that? I agree and totally relatable. Oh, really? Oh, yes. <laughs> I, I think that um, the upbringing we have, the way we are brought up, and uh, even the relationships we build as we're growing up, mm -hmm. to a large extent, um, affects or has an impact on our experiences so share your of, of, of life. <laughs> <laughs> so um, hmm, I was an only child for 16 years. Wow. I know. I remember my, when my little brother was born and he started school, his schoolmates, his teachers, everybody thought I was his mother. So when I go to pick him from school, they'll say, Sinclair, your mother is here. Oh. And I really used to hate it. I mean, well, long story short, he's a, he's a, a grown-up man now, and now we're back to brother and sister, not, not <laughs> son and daughter, <laughs> son and mother. <laughs> but anyway, yes. Um, so grew up, only child. Um, it was a big family. Mm -hmm. My father had a lot of his... Um, um, siblings, children, growing up with us. Hmm. So big family. My, I lived with my stepmother as well and my father. She had a sewing company. So the house was always bustling with people. In spite of that, I still felt an only child. You felt alone? I did feel alone. Hmm. And so, you know, even when I went, into, I went to secondary school, boarding house, I think it even became worse because it was a bigger group, but you, you really felt that people had siblings. Mm. Even those whose siblings were not in school mm -hmm. had siblings outside. Mm -hmm. So in terms of our conversations and things, you get to feel more that you, you, you are an only child. And I think what that did for me then is, in growing up, I looked out for myself more, mm. you know. And at that point, I didn't think it was a bad thing. When you say you looked out for yourself, what do you mean? So I looked out for my individual excellence, mm. my individual achievement, and, you know, my parents did well for me, took me to the best of schools, and Wesley girls. You went to Wesley, I went to Village House, so we have rivals. <laughs> but we, we, we've got some strength in the rivalry. <laughs> <laughs> so best of schools, finished University of Ghana, finished uh, my postgraduate, I am abroad. I, I could tell it was Ivy. It was be the best of yourself. Mm. It was not so much about the people mm. around me. You know, and you can easily get caught up in that. And like I said, at that point, I didn't think there was anything wrong with you it. Did it show up in your relationship with people? I, I don't... The self... I, well, I need to get it from their end. But as I've grown and where I am currently, I feel there's more depth in my relationships now mm -hmm. than previously. Mm -hmm. I think the fact that I grew up with a lot of people, but I didn't feel a certain tie with them, my relationships were touch and go. Mm. Because yeah. what I felt was, you're not there forever. So it's about you. It's about me. It's about what we do now. And then that's it. Mm. There was no continuation of that or where I felt you had something for me. And therefore, I needed to keep the connection, mm -hmm. keep the relationship. So, you know, I, when, when you talk about keep the connection, yeah. keep the relationship, what comes into my 
mind is the saying that women are our worst enemies. <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 you know, a lot of relationships are superficial. Yeah. Uh, and there's a lot of people say, this yeah. is not, I mean, there's a lot of, as if they're nice to you, but they're talking about you, mm. as if they're, you know. Yeah. What, 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 do you believe that women are their worst enemies? <laughs> it, it is a societal perception, mm. I must say. That's also being fed by real stories. Mm. So it's true, all the examples you gave, you, you meet different women groups that, you know, Within the groups, there are subgroups. Yeah, they are just, you know, yeah, within where, the subgroups, there are more subgroups. <laughs> there are more subgroups <laughs> where you you can you. I mean, you may think that everybody shares, you know, your views, your opinions, but then that that that's not it. So I think that a woman, our own, you know, worst enemies. Like I said, Sikap, and um, since meeting you and getting to start this journey on becoming my best self, I would say I have met. Let's say in the past three to five years, I have met, got an opportunity to meet women who are more supportive of each other mm. and women who are interested in, in getting the best out of other women. But yes, a woman who... At what point are we our worst enemies? I would say so that sometimes it is us women. You know, women, we treasure relationships. Yeah. And so along the line, when the relationship doesn't go well, when your trust is abused, when you feel used, you create some limiting beliefs mm. that makes you not trust mm. the other person, not just because the person is a woman, but you, you're, you're immediately holding on to, you know, being your, yourself. I always give this example. If you have a male boss mm -hmm. and um, you get menstrual cramps, there are a lot of men who don't even want to get into the details of, <laughs> of that topic. <laughs> so you could tell your boss, you know, that I have menstrual cramps, I can't come to work today. Yeah. And, you know, he just doesn't want to get into it. So maybe say, okay. You will have a female boss whose take on that will be totally different. And reasons may be one, that female boss may experience cramps herself and that still goes to work. Mm -hmm. So doesn't understand why you want to take the day off because of that. Two, that female boss may also have had experiences where people use that as an excuse and didn't get the work done. Mm -hmm. These experiences can easily make, especially a woman in authority, have some Block. blocks when it, comes to, yeah. when it comes to easily feeling for another woman that they have to work with. But it's important that as women, you know, we don't take experiences of the past. Like I said, my being feeling alone, yeah. bit, that we don't take that in our journey in life because there's a point where we have to learn to break that barrier mm -hmm. and that limiting belief that every woman that I work with is suspicious, is yeah. a suspect yeah. until because proving guilt, guilt. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. innocence, innocent. because yes. you have been through the experience you project yes. on other women. Yes. Yes. That takes my mind back mm. to your story of um, when you were an only child, it was all about you, yeah. your parents had brought you up well, and um, how, when you started working at APSA, yeah. How was that showing up in your work as a lead yeah. person? So, I mean, I've had a beautiful journey with, with, with APSA. When I joined the business, my work schedule was still a me schedule. Okay. So it was me delivering. Mm. It was me with my targets. It was me shining and God helped me, so I did do well. And uh, I saw my career progressing. It got to a stage where it was not going to be about me to get to the next level. At what stage did it get to? <laughs> so this is when now I had to move into a leadership role mm -hmm. where I had to look over a team. 
I honestly thank God for your life because you came in at the right time. Hmm. There I was with that mindset, my fixed mindset that it's about Ivy's brilliance, it's about Ivy's um, achievements, about Ivy's excellence. And I remember our first meeting, <laughs> how I was so sure that I'm here delivering my targets. I really don't need a coach, you know, and God forgive me. <laughs> <laughs> but when we met and I started telling you where I wanted to be in the next five years, etc., And my focus then again was making my team members become like me. I remember that statement. Exactly. I wanted, I wanted to make yes. more IVs. Yes, I want to make more IVs in my department. I said, wow. <laughs> this girl must be feeling good. <laughs> but you know, that's, that's what the upbringing yeah. had done for me. That, you know, that's you. You're all alone here. But you can still do well alone. It, it's mm. not so much a bad thought. But like I said, to grow in my career, to get to the next level becoming my best IV, I now need to connect with others. And that's where you came in. I remember you telling me, the world will be boring if there's only an IV. If there are 20 IVs, it will be a boring world. And I agree, it will be very boring. I needed a variety of different people and what they, they brought. And they being their best selves. So I remember one of my team members, when I had a one-on-one -on -one with her, mm -hmm. and then she said she wanted to be like me. That was her, I said, stop short. <laughs> she was thinking, why are you saying that? And I said, actually, I thought that as well. But I met a woman who changed my view on that. And I'm, I'm seeing that that view is a better view. And I want you to become the best of you. Because when you are the best of you, I've got the best of Anita, I've got the best of Gloria, I've got the best of Frederick, mm. that becomes a beautiful and a colorful world. And when we look in the sky, there's not only one star shining, different stars. And you know the stars have different names? They've, yeah, they've got different names. I mean, when we are down here, they look like all stars, but they're different and that's what makes it beautiful. So. I think that that realization for me and that shifting really helped me. I mean, did you did you see the results? You yes. know, there's this saying, you cannot be yourself by yourself. Mm. 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 You cannot mm. be yourself mm -hmm. by yourself, yeah. which means you need people. Yeah. You need to connect to co-create. Yeah. So compare, tell us the difference mm. between when you were yourself by yourself yeah. and how the, it was showing up mm. with your team members. Mm. And mm. when the shift occurred, yeah. what the results have been? Good. Could you share that with us? So, like I said, it's still a sales role. Mm -hmm. So we have individual, I mean, we have individual yeah. targets. And when I was, when I had a portfolio that I was handling, like I said, shooting the stars. Mm. And so I would get outstanding. My appraisal year on year was outstanding. First time I had to lead the group, end of year appraisal, I gave myself outstanding. And then my boss said, no, you can't. I said, how? I'm outstanding. He said, your team members must be outstanding for you to be outstanding. Hmm. That and was that was a wake-up call that, I mean, all of a sudden, it wasn't just about Ivy anymore. It was about how much my team members also grew along with me. So that's the journey. That's where you came in. And I'm so excited to say that this year, hmm. one of our best years, really? best, best years. And this is a team Sika, that works hybrid. Hmm, so we're not eight to five in the office clocking in to see what everyone is doing. This is people working from their homes, working from the nearest um, office, uh, bank office. And, and this is people just, they themselves wanting to be their best and you self. said you, to be your best year. In what, in what way has it been the best year? So, you know, you get targets and um, you deliver. You deliver once. You deliver it two times. You deliver it three times what you were given. So, I am a fantastic year performance, but by my team. And um, I've been blessed to have to lead this team. Interestingly, it's a team of hmm. six, five women, 
and one guy. So that's why I say women are not our yeah, worst enemies. This, this, is, this is me having the opportunity to, to, to work together with the team, connect so well with them that we are all bringing our best. So what did into... you do? If, if, if I'm a woman leader <laughs> and I'm listening to you, um, I mean, I'm curious to know, yeah. what did you do with these women mm -hmm. that you were not doing before? before? And you talked about how you have brought the best in your team. They have become their best self not their best ivy no not <laughs> okay. at all uh -huh. and and i said I, i'm curious as to what you did mm. what what did weren't you doing before mm. Mm. what are you doing differently now mm. what did you do differently okay. now that has contributed to them becoming their best self okay. can you share with us okay so um like i said the opportunity to 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 meet with you and have the privilege to to be coached as a depth practitioner and gave me some, you know, invaluable skills, practically. And um, some of the things that I, I've pulled from that training that I use with the, my team members. Um, first one, I remember um, how we even, you know, we learned about creating a growth space. Mm. You know, that when you even start your interaction with people, First, take away the status that, you know, I'm here as a boss subordinate. Take it out. Bring some certainty into the whole conversation that this is what we are here to do. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, this is, this is what, this is the agenda. So people feel that they are a part of this. You know, there's fairness. You, 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 you also allow people, there's not, I'm the only one here. People also get to, 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 to talk as well. That we learned it as the scarf model. And um, also things a good like, student. oh yes, I learned well because it's helped me. <laughs> then we learned things about, you know, um, how to even listen, bringing your presence. You know, sometimes when you're talking to somebody, you're only hearing because you're coming in with, this is what I think and this is what I'm going to do. But during the, the depth practitioner um, training, we learned about how to listen, deep listening, and even picking up things that the person hasn't said. Mm. But, you know, so a sigh. And I remember telling you how I use it at home, and my, my husband sometimes <laughs> notices that, hey, you're using me for practice. <laughs> <laughs> because it's like, what, what are you saying that you're not saying? Mm. You know, one of the greatest things for me has been even questioning, you know, and that, that, that I realize has really helped the team because my questions are not, why didn't you do this? Why do you think that this is because, and that training taught us that the why makes people feel defensive because immediately why, it means I have to project myself and react to what you're saying. But things like, what could you have done differently? You know, how could this have helped you? Makes people think deeper about what they are saying and they really put themselves into it. Also, giving feedback because, you know, sometimes um, when you work in a sales role, where there are targets to be yeah, met. It's all about targets. Target. It's all about targets. And then the f feedback session sometimes is used to punish, mm. you know, because yeah. it's like now that I have to maybe give you commission or something, I'm now giving you feedback about what you didn't do well. And so that whole conversation is about somebody sitting high up there and you low there. But when we had those sessions, the whole effective feedback even starts from me. Do you know, asking, how well did I do? How well did our interactions, you know, go, go, go on? And once the person, my team member, feels that it's not just her or him on show, but it's Ivy has an accountability as well. It, it makes it easy for us to do this for ourselves. Because... It is the best of me bringing out the best of Ivy as well. Mm -hmm. So I think that the practical skills is really what 
what helped me to shift from this, you know, individual IV, I'm there to say it. And, and I think I, 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 I should thank my business as well for not making, once you are a leader, you, you can't shine alone. You have to shine with others. You have to shine with others. You have to shine with others. And, and the, 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 the business brought that out very clearly and I'm connecting the dots because once that came out, I'm sure I would have wondered, what do I do? Do I still just beat them all up and become Ivy, become Ivy? <laughs> yeah. But then I met you and you said, no. Use these skills to get people to become their best selves. And that honestly has been an, a, a real eye-opener. Do you see that, um, I always say that when you empower others, mm -hmm. there's a relief you get. Oh, yes. You know, I remember one of you know, our classes, you talked about the fact that uh, there's this, I have to do this, and I have to, and I have to. Uh -huh. <laughs> and and do, you, <laughs> do you see that by um, getting them to become their yeah. best self, yeah. You, there's a relief yeah. for you. In oh, what way yes. has your workload reduced, or in what big, what way? big relief? Mm. <laughs> I remember that example I gave you that I had to check out, you know, because we had monthly reports, and I felt, you know, I write better. Why can't these people write like me? <laughs> Today's confession time. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I think that as um, women leaders, yeah. we get into that situation where we feel that you know, we're the best at this. And everybody else, once they are below us, they can't do the work as much as, I mean, as well as we can do it. I, I think that if you want them to do it that well, first recognize that they're doing something. Mm -hmm. So that, you, you know, you helped me to, 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 to now let their authentic self come out. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't so critical of their reports now. I, what I did was, once the important points are there, because the report, there are things that must come out. The style doesn't always have to be my style. Mm. It, it can be different. So we have these uh, Monday, every other Monday morning meetings that you know, I used to vet the, the, <laughs> you had become the, a teacher, yeah. the report <laughs> before it comes out. You know, now it's fresh breeze. And are they doing better? They the are. Well? And, you know, now what I've done is every team member gets the chance to, to do the reports one, every month. Mm -hmm. So, and that's giving them visibility as well. Mm, yeah. You know, and what it's doing for me is I'm more in the back seat which is what sometimes we struggle with, that ish doesn't mean that I lose visibility. But mm. no, now I have more opportunity to create other, I mean, help other people to become the best of themselves. So what I'm doing now is I have a little bit more time to now mentor or coach. I prefer coaching yeah. because mentoring is you know different different yes uh, but when, when you come to the class you know the difference <laughs> <laughs> but to coach other people in the business who actually see my team as wow this is a great team this is a team i want to to be in um we, we, we may not have the space for everyone but i'm able to use their space mm -hmm. their stories mm -hmm. to tell them you can be your best at where you are without having to move to my team. Because mm. sometimes people feel stuck. Mm -hmm. They feel I've been doing this for eight years. Yeah. I've been in this same place for eight years. You know, there's no, and every role that comes, I'm not giving the role. That's, that can limit you. That can limit you to move to the next level. That you may think that there ain't any role comes, they've already decided who to mm -hmm. give it to, so mm -hmm. I'm not good at anything. No, there is something in you there is something in you that once you take out those limiting beliefs, mm -hmm. you can connect with other people to become, to bring out that yes. beautiful self wow. of you. Wow. So the shift seems to have come. You've shifted from seeing Ivy to seeing the potential others. in others. Yes. And, and yes. in the process you are yes. getting. Do you see the rippling effect on your customers? If, you know, compared to before. Mm. Do you see... Mm. 
is it showing in, in any way your team gross your gross mm -hmm. how is it impacting on, on your customers big impact because what that means is that then there are a lot more great people out there bringing customers in mm. so it's not one effort and um, I mean I because I lead the team now I don't really handle day-to-day -day, mm -hmm. you know client work and there's very little noise from that space mm. and that's because I have the best people handling the clients I've got the best people handling the portfolios and it's actually giving me time to do a little more than I used to because now I'm having to do a lot more in the business than just my core job yeah. and I guess that's where the growth is mm -hmm. that immediately I was able to build a field of support Field, I like that. A field of support. Like a football match. Ghana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a field of support. A field of support mm -hmm. that is not a one-man show. Yeah. You know, everybody else comes in, you know, um, to, to, to support. And these are people who have been able to build trust with them because mm -hmm. I'm able to be vulnerable around them. I'm able to, you know, take their vulnerabilities as well. I'm able to bring my strong personality on. So they don't see just a one-sided IV. Yeah. They see the good, the bad, the ugly of IV. And then they, 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 they take the good because we're not perfect. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they give you permission they to do. be vulnerable. You they know, when do. you talk about vulnerable, vulnerability, um, there's this perception mm -hmm. by a number of women that when you get to a certain height, for you to gain respect, mm. you must be like a man. <laughs> <laughs> okay? So, you know, then you must be serious and you must be... You, people must fear you. <laughs> fear you. I fear. But what is your take on the issue of vulnerability? Mm. Mm. You know, is it okay to be vulnerable? What do you... Yeah, is it okay? It is. I will say, though, that you have to also be mindful of the space. Yeah that you, you're vulnerable in. Mm -hmm. um, because sometimes corporate world can be brutal. Mm -hmm. you know, so if you're vulnerable in the wrong space, it may come back to bite. When you say vulnerable in the wrong space, could you expand on that? So for instance, maybe there's a, a role, um, a higher role, that you don't feel you're adequately prepared for. You know, um, and you could echo this to the wrong audience okay who will then you know magnify it as oh she's not ready for this mm. but that's not really what you you, you need the vulnerability in this a space piece. where the people can amplify and mirror what you're what you're saying and not make it a, neg a, look back. a negative yeah. thing you know that that that, that, that that's yeah. it yeah. I, I i've been in meetings where I would say to my team member, this is your strength, it's not my strength. But I'm her boss. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying, we're going on this call, this particular sector, you've got strength in it. So I'm going to project you to do, to, to do this. That, my vulnerability to this, my team member, even though I'm her boss, I don't feel less of, 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 of a boss because of the conversations we've had, mm -hmm. the relatabilities we've had that she knows that. I also have my, my, my vulnerable space where mm -hmm. Ivy comes in strong for me. Mm -hmm. And so if this is Ivy's space, th th there's nothing wrong with it. And it even helps them to aspire to become, mm -hmm. to get into a leadership role. Because like you're saying, then it's not about being macho. Yeah. It's about, you know, Look, I don't know this. Yeah. I, I, I don't know this. And the, the, there are also times when we don't know where we, we should be able to call people who know it, who are more genial to us, and be open about it. That, look, I, I need more information on this. Can you give me 
in telling it because we the, the truth is we can't know everything you can't be yourself by yourself no you can't be yeah. yourself so by I'm, yourself. I'm looking at you and i'm looking at how you are in your body language <laughs> the non-verbal communication <laughs> uh -huh. and i i can visualize you taking up the master class that we'll be having on connecting and co-create looking forward to could it could you share with me what are we <laughs> to expect well you know I get excited when I get the chance to share my story. And I know that the more I share, the more I get like-minded people who, you know, feel that I, what you're saying, I can relate to that. And um, through this, what looked then like a weakness, I've gone through these sessions, these models, and I, I, I can't say I've become the best of myself. It's still a journey. It's still a journey. But I've seen the shift and I'm looking forward to, you know, a group of people that I get the opportunity to interact with and to, to, to share our experiences, mm -hmm. to listen, to hear them give feedback, to, to, to get what power partners have yeah, got power it. Partners. <laughs> our power partners you have to say hello to them <laughs> i have to <laughs> <laughs> those people you are going to be facilitating group coaching yes, sessions yes with. yes yes so um if you're out there and you're, you're 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 wondering is this for me it definitely is for you imagine you know being in a space with people you don't know but you get the the, the chance to immediately build relationships to connect with people in a way that you 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 can be your best self without even knowing i mean i met sika sika put a group of us together and we called ourselves power partners because in that room i think our first meeting was even virtually no our first meeting was in person it was in person and subsequent, yes, subsequent person, one yeah. but whether physically or virtually, there's so much power in that room. And what you don't know is we have built relationship outside when we meet you. Really? I know. <laughs> I didn't know that. Oh, there's, there's, we formed our own group called The Trip. You know that? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> You know, so co -creating. we are co-creating, yeah. you know, so myself, um, Dr. Rejoice and um, Pell. Hey. <laughs> when we when we have those group sessions, that's even outside you. We're not able to finish yeah. because we, we, we find ourselves, you know, practicing all that you have taught us and we have grown better. And this is people who didn't know ourselves from anywhere. But um, yeah, so join our master class. There's a lot more you will learn, um, but we can guarantee that you will become the best of yourself. You wouldn't become Ivy. No, no, become no, 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 no. <laughs> the best of yourself, because the world needs the best yeah. of ourselves. Yeah. So, <laughs> Ivy, so your last words, what, what are your last words to people who, who are asking themselves, um, I've been through so much pain and people have disappointed me and I can't trust people. If you are talking about connecting to co-create, what, what, what are your last words? So what I would say is um, our relationships can be bitter, can be sweet. And the bitter ones, when they are bitter, they can really set us back. But I want to tell um, viewers out there that it's possible to close that chapter. Mm. To close that chapter, you first must acknowledge that these are the hurts and the pain you have felt from previous relationships. And you hear me talk like it's a perfect world and uh, that I've gained benefits from creating with others. I started from a place of want, a place of fixed mind where I thought it's only about me and these sessions have have really brought out the best in me and it continues to so I would say definitely sign on there's there's strength in connecting there's strength in relating it, it will make you a happier person and um, at least if for nothing at all just knowing Sika <laughs> <laughs> Just knowing Sika. So it, it's a beautiful um, um, 
group of women out there, group of people, not just women out there, that get to benefit from, from, from these sessions. And um, I would say, come join our family. Um, we, we will be better together. And um, we will grow even more together. I like that, that statement. We will be better together. Yes. So thank you so much, Ivy. It's been awesome. I've enjoyed it. My nerves are calm now. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much.